The procedure to complete a mechanically attached tape seam incorporates the use of one row of Weatherbond seam tape and one row of 2 and 3 8 inch seam fastening plates with Weatherbond HP WX fasteners. Using the pre-printed X's on the sheeting, arrange the 2 and 3 8 inch seam fastening plates a maximum of 12 inches on center and fasten with a Weatherbond HP WX fastener. If there are no X's, place the center of the fastener approximately 2 inches from the edge of the sheet, a maximum of 12 inches on center and fasten. Next, place marks 6 inches from the edge of the bottom sheet, the entire length of the sheet. Align the top sheet along the marks and then measure and mark a half inch beyond the edge of the top sheet for tape placement the entire length of the sheet. This will achieve the minimum seam and will allow for the eighth inch to half inch exposure of the tape. Fold back the top sheet and apply a thin coat of TPO primer to the entire area where the tape will be placed. Allow the primer to dry and then unroll approximately three feet of seam tape and carefully align the edges of the tape, not the clear release paper with the outside marks. Apply hand pressure to the tape to remove trapped air. Prime the mating surface of the top sheet and allow to dry. Close the overlapping seam and check to be sure that there is one eighth inch to a half inch of seam tape that will be exposed. Peel the clear poly and apply firm hand pressure towards the outside edge of the seam to remove any trapped air. Roll the seam tape with a 2 inch wide roller. Always roll across the seam. Install a 6 inch by 6 inch T-joint cover at all T-intersections. Apply a bead of lap sealant to all edges of seams and accessories and then feather. 